Skills today. I'm hitting up the Willow Emac. Uh, this is gonna be my second time fishing the Willow. I'm hoping for a better luck this time than last time. Uh, I didn't catch anything last time I came up, but uh, I think I've I've learned a little bit more about it, about what flies to fish and, and how to fish it. So hopefully I'll have a little bit better luck this time. And uh, if I don't have much luck at the spot I'm gonna check out, I've got a couple other spots upstream I want to try. So. Um, you know, we'll see how, how that works and hopefully we'll catch some fish. All right, I'm here at the Willow Weemack. Um, water looks pretty nice, it's a little high, but um, I haven't stepped in it yet. But uh, it looks, looks like a pretty good spot, so I'm gonna get started. Here we go. Uh, I'm just starting with the Chubby Chernobyl, one of my favorite big, large attractor flies, because I really don't know what they're going to bite in here and I'll eventually put a dropper on the back of it I'm not sure how deep it is over there it looks a little darker right now it's not quite up to my waist but over there it looks darker there's definitely some caddis coming off so I'll drop I'll drop a nymph down there in a few minutes but I just like to try this out first by itself. See if we can get anything. Switching up my flies a little bit. I've tried a few things, nothing working yet. I put on a nice um, hare's ear, not a bead head, and in front of it, I've got a bead head pheasant tail, and a couple of split shot on there. I don't think I'm getting to the bottom, that was my problem. I don't want to use an indicator because I don't want it to hang up my flies on the top of the water. So we're gonna try to do this for, by feel. Let's see if we can get it out there. Cause it looks pretty deep out there. The water changed colors, it's darker. And uh, I don't think I was ever getting, now I'm getting bottom definitely. <laughs> See if we can get out there. It's a heavier setup, so it's harder to cast. the willow's getting the best of me. I haven't seen a rise, I haven't felt a hit, got nothing. I've fished this whole stretch and switched my flies a whole bunch of times, nothing. But it is beautiful. I mean, this time of year, it's really nice here. It's nice to be on the water, but I'm not catching any fish. So I'm gonna try another spot. I got one more setup I'm gonna try. Um, got a hair's ear on, which I think will match the caddis that are coming off. 
and I also put a small really tiny midge nymph on because it's possibly they're feeding on something I can't see so I'm gonna give that a shot go back up here a little ways and see if we can catch something I finally got one here he comes I don't know what he took Like you might have taken the hairs here. I did put on some lighter tippet. Maybe that was the key. I'm afraid to bring him in too hard because I don't want to break my line. And ah, we got him. All right. That's a nice brown. Alrighty. See him in there? Let's see if I can bring him to the side without falling over. Just my best to keep him in the water. All right. I got too much stuff to hold on to between my net, my rod, my waiting staff. Alright. Let's put some stuff down. Nice looking brown. He took the definitely took the hairs here. So this is a, my first time using my new net. I upgraded. I got a uh, rubber net. Supposedly good better for the fish. And there he goes. And at least I got one. I really like to hold him up a little bit to look at him, but uh, fumbling around with this new net, I just let him go. But uh, we got one. I've moved way up stream on the willow and uh, I'm gonna give this another shot. Hopefully get some wild brookies this time. See if I can actually get a decent picture of one instead of just letting it go before I actually get a good view of it. But um, see what I can do and uh, wish me luck. All right, I'm coming up on my first pool. Looks pretty nice right in here. There's definitely some bugs coming off the water, which is great. The water is crystal clear. I'm gonna see if I can sneak in right in here and cast out a few in there. There may be some under that log too. Let's see if we can find any rookies in here. None on the first float by. Right there. I 
All right, I found this cool looking pool right here. The only thing is, it looks like it's one big rock underneath it. So I don't know if there'll be any fish, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Maybe over by those big rocks. I'll get the line up. Down there. Anybody home? My last stop before I go home, I'm gonna try Fur Brook. Uh, apparently has some good wild brookies in it. See if I can find some. Couldn't find any at the Upper Willow, but um, hopefully we have more luck here. All right. Oh, I got one. <laughs> I can't. I can't reel him in fast enough because he's so small. That's a chub. That's a chub. Not surprised. Chub. Go free chub. Well, it's probably all chubs in here. I'll cast a few more just in case. Looks to be a nice little hole right in here. The riffles come down, filters into the middle, a little slower section. So let's see if we drift a fly right through there, see if we can grab something. I don't want to get too close. Found this nice little riffle here, and I uh, played a fish for a little bit, lost him, and then I just caught this little guy. Look how beautiful that is! Oh my gosh, he's got golden spots, red with the blue halos. All right, that is such a beautiful fish.